Hey, HCA and outside partners. Um, this is Sue Birch, and I'm doing my monthly update for you all. I uh, think it's a tremendous opportunity to stop and celebrate. Um, we just came through the eighth birthday of the Affordable Care Act, so it was the eighth anniversary. Um, and we have really made some significant changes. The two I want to talk about this month are our successes um, this legislative season. And the two are around our school employee benefits um, bill being signed and passed into law. So our school employees now statewide um, by 2020 will be eligible to come into what we call um, SEB coverage. And so we are really pleased uh, to think about how Again, we level out and standardize coverage across Washington. The second thing that we did that we're really pleased about is we uh, completed a massive transformation with the integration of behavioral health. So there was a bill that was signed, uh, 1388, which moves the Division of Behavioral Health and Recovery out of uh, the Department of Social Services over to the Healthcare Authority. We're really pleased about that. You know I've talked about this notion of how do we build a stronger base of not just taking care of people's bodies, but their minds, and how we're gonna partner and put those um, folks together here at the state level will really cascade and ripple down to the practice level, and it already is with a lot of the primary care, health home work that's being done. Our federally qualified health centers do that beautifully where they deliver an integrated model. And as we change those contracts and move towards fully integrated managed care, we're gonna be bringing up more standardization, not just in physical and primary health care, but in uh, behavioral health as well. The third thing that happened in this March Madness Month was uh, Marianne Linda Blatt and I traveled out to Spokane. And wow, what a beautiful city, what an engaged community, and a community on the move. We were lucky to be hosted by Allison, who runs Better Health Together, the accountable communities of health out there. A few other of the ACH leaders joined us, and we had time to hear about the base building that's being done to really improve um, uh, the community's responses around behavioral health treatment, and opioids, chronic diseases, and transitional care. So it was really fabulous um, to see Spokane and to meet with the leadership circles there that are really engaging in some very powerful work. Uh, the fire chief, the mayor came out to meet with us and really understand that intersection between health and social services. We also went a little further. We went to Davenport. What a beautiful little rural, rural community. It was fabulous to go through those farmlands and to see more of this beautiful state. Davenport really has a lot of sophistication um, with its uh, surgical um, team that they use very wisely, kind of in a hub and spoke uh, service delivery model. They also are doing a lot of great partnership with Providence and we got to see their very cool uh, uh, telehealth robot that allows them to do some more specialty services. So the leadership team there um, convened uh, a great uh, regional meeting and had other rural hospitals from Odessa, uh, one right below the Canadian border. And um, we visited with those leaders and heard about their challenges around transportation and uh, some of the transformations that are occurring. And we'll be getting back to our rural partners um, over time about how we're gonna use our fourth year SIM to really springboard into a rural health value-based um, payment arrangement. So very excited about that upcoming work. So there you have it. It's been a great spring. Uh, I hope you enjoyed March Madness season and we're looking forward to April. Um, we know that there'll be ongoing work this month with our rural health partners. We've got also some very cool meetings coming up with our tribes and headed up to the Anacortes region. And then lastly, um, we know that there will just be continued work around um, our school employees' uh, uh, benefit design that will continue to play out. Stay tuned for more of those details and have a great spring.